welcome to another episode of Commander Fodder. So our fodder today is a deck from Onslaught, one of the theme decks from Onslaught, because this is Onslaught week. And um, if I just go down the list here, I've already selected one. If you watched the first episode this week of Set Musings, you'll, you know, it was a bit of a spoiler, I suppose towards the end of the video so I'm just going to run through the four decks that were in the Onslaught set as, as theme decks and if you've seen the set musings episode you'll know that uh, tribal was a thing in this particular block so the first one is a creature type changing theme in blue black of which the two cards are Endemic Plague and Peer Pressure. You can see there's a number of mist forms in here. We've got Celestial Assault, Celestial Assault which is a white-blue deck with birds and soldiers as its tribal theme. Also you notice there are a number of Gus Cloaks in it. And it's rare as a Gust Cloak Saviour and Oblation. Then we have the Dem Devon sorry, the Devastation deck, which is a red green beast tribal deck. And the rares are Cryptic Gateway and Tephroderm. This is a card I completely completely blindsided me. Um, this cryptic gateway. So, yeah, the first time I saw it was would have been uh, in in the episode of Set Musings. And then the Ivory Doom deck is white black cleric deck, and what we got here it's interesting. We got we got both of the disciples, which were the the mirrored pair. There's a doubtless one in here, uh, which bases its power and toughness on the number of clerics, which obviously makes sense in cleric tribal. There is a gangrenous, gangre, gangrenous Goliath. So, other thing, again, if you've seen the set musings, you'll know that tapping untapped creatures was a thing in the set. And Sigil of the New Dawn. So I'm just looking now. Whenever a creature is put into your grave from the battlefield, you may pay one and a white. If you do, return that card to your hand. You can see that's obviously a reprint there. So, we'll reprinted artwork. Now, it's the only trouble with the, the rollover stuff I'm using here um, obviously only shows the most recent card, which is unfortunate, but anyway, kind of everything. But of course when we get to the deck build itself we will have the original artwork. So with the the choices out of the way, um, I've gone for the Devastation deck. I just really wanted to build a Beast Tribal with this card. So here's the deck in its sort of un, um, unfoddered <laughs> form in the original form. So 60 cards, green red, it's got Forgotten Cave and Tranquil Thicket. There's some non-basic lands. And um, you can see in here there's various beasts. And then there's there's a few other support cards which are non-beasts. Like Elvish Pioneer and Wildwood Savage. Oh, and Wildwood Elf. So what I need to do is the next stage. And uh, here's, here's something I prepared earlier. Um, is just take out all the duplicate copies. So we've only got the one offs and decide on a commander, which is going to be more fun. It's a changeling, so it is a beast in it in itself. As it enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type, obviously for this deck, beast, and then other creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one. 
Spells of the chosen type you cast cost Wu Burglars to cast. This effect reduces the only the amount of coloured mana you pay. So very handy in this deck. It also opens me up to play other beasts that aren't necessarily red or green. Now at the moment, just for the purposes of starting and seeding this, I've got just the land base adjusted up to to sort of um, EDH levels. So we've got 36 land in here. I've kept the original colour of land. Obviously, as Architects suggests additions to this deck, um, I'm going to rebalance this based on if I play any other colours about apart from red or green. Having built a beast deck several years ago in paper, um, yeah, it's, it's you obviously want to leverage all the colours if you can. Because there's certainly some um, beast creatures, one I can think of actually, which is, was it Trigon Predator, which is, is, in, is blue in it as well which has some good utility in terms of dealing with artifacts and enchantments. And there's some other ones as well. Um, I suspect I'll, I'll see lots of, um, where were a lot of beasts? Well, not Conflux, but that around that time. So around the times of the Shards block, that's what I'm trying to think of. So, and, and also um, there was um, a commander deck. Actually, well, here, here's the thing. I suppose I could have played Kaiji, the Honored One, which have been would have been Red, Green, White, Tribal, which was when one of the other Commander decks. But I just wanted to play this because of it. It acts like a Lord for whatever creature you choose, and that's sort of, that's what I was really after with this deck. But uh, as I've said, I'm sure there's there's beasts in in red and green, legendary beasts, which which could have been the commander. But we will go with with this fella. And I'm sure it's going to suggest things like Crozen Crozen War Chief and stuff like that, and other cares that other cards that care about cards that have uh, you know. Power four or greater, that sort of thing. So we're going to start off just using the built in recommender. I'm not going to switch to EDH rec unless we run into any problems with um, either the theme. Sometimes the theme gets a little weird um, and we have to do that, or we just don't get enough choices or suggestions. So I suppose I could have had my in paper B stack off to one side and if I was out of ideas, but I didn't really want to do that. I just wanted to be this this to be a fresh go. I did have a problem last week or the week before with this where it got stuck on loading recommendations, but we'll see. The other thing about this particular one, um I don't know if the other one cares, but but it doesn't so much care about being exactly correct in terms of the color identity. I've noticed that, um, which is handy. The other thing we'll see, there's already some um, shape-shifting creatures which have really cool utility, which I wouldn't mind having in here because they would count as beasts because they're every creature type. Hmm. Good thing is it's throwing up lots of things that I've not necessarily seen before. So that is handy. Obviously bulk of the deck is gonna be creatures. Well that's gonna be good because that just replicates the ability on our Commander. Quite like the idea of that. Now let's go back to the top again. Okay. 
Mm, yeah, I can see where that's coming from. So you can sort of see what the way the suggestion engine works from the architect side of things is slightly different from EDHREC. So what you tend to find is it will mirror certain things in the deck. And this is obviously mirroring this ability here. Now that's not to say that in EDH rec this particular card might be popular in a Morophon deck, but generally I've noticed that it's it's sort of looking out for certain things. suggestions here I do like this card that's any graveyard just seeing if we got some cool utility a number of draws here don't know why that is That's curious. So, what I might do is pick certain changings I want and then maybe switch to EDH Trek. I'm not going to try and do Beast from Memory, that would be rather difficult. some stuff back. Target shapeshifter becomes a copy of target utility your next turn. I like that. Yeah, let's get some utility in here. Alright, I'll leave that for the moment. Before I do it, let's just see what... It's probably the usual suspects here. One thing I have got to be a bit, a little bit mindful of is obviously I'm fixing for five... Oh, well, I don't know yet, do I? I could be potentially fixing for five colours. So I'm going to have to be a bit wary. This is good. Yeah, we do need that in there. Do I really care about... I suppose I'd better protect my commander. I don't know if I want to play Coat of Arms. It's a good card, but uh, of course if anybody else happened to play Tribal against this deck, it would be... to some degree counterproductive. That's interesting. Oh yeah, I did want to play that, thinking about it. We'll leave that for the moment now. I think what I'm going to do, let's see what Instant speed remove, spot removal, it suggests. So we can really play anything we like. Because we can, if we want, we can play five color. Oh, let's go swords. And Cyclonic Rift. And that. I do like Crib 
tabs up. Nine might be a bit too much, actually. Let's see anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to be a bit ruthless here with some of these support cards actually that came from the original deck. So let me just, so we don't forget it was in here. I'm going to put that in the maybe Primal Boost. Target creature gets plus me. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Chain of Plasma. No, I didn't want to play that. That was it. Okay, we've got seven. Let's just stick with that for the moment and see what sort of... Actually, what's in my sorcery slot? Did you get a flying? Okay, that's fine. Cards from the top of your library to use them on that card. Which does damage equal to that. It's interesting. Okay, well, we'll leave that. Not the best card, but it's not always what this is about. Let's have a look at sorcery itself. I mean, I suspect there's going to be some sort of wrath effect fairly high up. Oh, actually, of course. Okay. Let's tough that. <laughs> all, all of this stuff, please. Uh, destroy all creatures. Yeah, that's really good. Draw my tutor. I like that. And we, yeah, we should play a supreme verdict. Okay, ten sorceries. Just chop that. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Grips. Let's have a look at some enchantments, shall we? Doesn't have the same name as another creature. There's a bit of card draw going on here. Yeah. Let's 
smattering of enchantments in. I'll just see if anything's changed on the creature front. I don't think so. I don't think I really want to just fill it with utility. Um, that's interesting. With you, sort of utility changelings. Okay, I should do that. Still a beast. Alright, let's switch over and see what happens. remember the sort of things that I should look out for like things like Trigon Predator and Spellbreaker Behemoth I do need that in the deck actually quick look at lands I mean I, I suppose I could also play like a an artifact package um, to help fix mana I may just play some Yule Lands. I mean, I suppose thematically I should really play the lands from uh, from that particular set. Would be would be the thing to do. That, that, and that. Right, so where were we? Let's just take these out. in some land um
Yeah, it does that. Looks nice. Forest we've already got. Island, mountain. This time around, and where's my swamp gone? Maybe I'll have a different swamp than the one I would logically pick. It's funny, that was the first one. Okay, let's pick a different one. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'm just making these equal at the time. Obviously, this would be rebalanced um, based on the the color balance of um, you know the the various cards. Because clearly, we're mainly playing a lot of red and green here. And if I was to look at the stats of the deck, you'll see already. You know, there are certain obviously colors more than others. It's slowly going up there, but there's no way near the same balance. And again, I might drop these. Um, one thing I suppose to do, although they're really expensive, is is because we're in this set originally. The decks from from onslaught would play to play the cycle of five onslaught fetchlands. Um, yeah, that would that could be a thing in here. Uh, when I do these videos, I tend not to get too concerned about the uh, the mana base um, in terms of just making sure everything's correct. But uh, yeah, certainly, I mean, at the moment, this mana base is is probably relatively cheap. Um, so the way it could be improved is obviously by um, and still fairly cheap is to add in either tri lands or um, dual lands uh, that come into play tapped. That might be a possibility. In the moment, really, we're only mana fixing through Terramorphic Expanse and Evolving Wilds and Command Tower and a few other things here. Um, the other thing is because we're in green, we have do do have the benefit of going off and finding land that's on colour as well, so maybe that's not such a big issue. Right, let us look, because now we've got to load this up with some creatures. And I don't think, whatever I do here, it's not going to really come back with a load of beasts, which is what ideally I want to play. Beast utility. See, Morophon's a 6-6. Six, six. As well. So, there is some interesting Voltron-y pieces you could probably put in this deck. And there's other cards like was it God Godshire, which is a beast, but it, you can put eight eight. Um, tap it and put eight eight beast creature token into play. And then utility like you know there's this ravenous um cupacabra which is 
um, a good alternative to Shriek Maul. Um, and it's of course a beast, so that adds to the beast tribal thing. Okay. Enough of that. Okay, we got no got no planeswalkers. Maybe I will need to do this manually. Be a first. Okay. Not that I know. Okay, here we go. Oh, nasty. Um, okay, well, that's no, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not playing Dragon Tribal. Curious. I wonder what's causing this. It's not generating any any beasts at all. Must be some weird stuff pulling it in a weird direction. Okay. Wow. Maybe the inclusion of early on of the um, some of this other stuff has really sort of knocked it out of whack. Okie dokie. So, in that case, let us just play stuff that is fun to play. So, we'll stick in a Godshire. It's always good. We will stick in that ravenous... Oops, what did I just do there? Ravenous, there it is. Always a nice one. Now I did mention, what was it now? I sort of put a list together. Um, just in case this had happened. Alright. Predator, what you'll do with that. And what's it Crozen Was it War War Chief? Okay, it's about beast creatures. I don't think I've got Spellbreaker in the deck. Yeah, there's quite a few um, from this particular Commander product. I can't remember which one it was. Um, that has some handy beasts in it. And then we've got stuff like Garrick's Pack Leader as well, which could do card draw, though I don't know if I want to do that. I've already got quite a lot of card draw in here already. So. I mean, I the other thing I could have done is I could have gone down the Keptic Green... Green, red, um, thunderfoot, I think it is. Okay, eight cards. Eight cards.
there's things like Thrak Tusk and all of those things. I should... I don't remember, did I see a Crows and Tusker in here already? It's a popular... Let's have a look at Crozens generally. Okay, there we go. I'll just check that so make sure I didn't. It would be a different artwork. No. Nope. Put that in. So there is. Because it's been reprinted quite a few times. Popular in Commander. There we go. That's better. So six creatures to stick in here. Now, I suppose if I'm going for utility as well, things like, and we were in green, so things like Mold, Shambler, always interesting so three three we kick her and the other one from um, I think this was from shards plot but I get sort of get muddled up with sets that are, um, you know, clo um, pre released around the same time. And um, this could equally have come from, say, um, the same block that World Wake was in, Zendikar, but not sure. Um, in fact, let's have a quick look. Alara, oh no, it was Alara, but that's good. So yeah, so it's also in the Commander. So the one I was thinking of is Commander 2013, where there were quite a few beasts in one of the deck. Now the other interesting thing as well, because um, one, one reason for playing five colour beasts using Morophon, is things like... Um, Was it Phyrexian in Phyrexian? Let's start again. Phyrexian um, in Jester. In fact, there's a whole load of Phyrexian stuff, but that's an that's interesting beast in blue. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, I'm up. Look at that. And there's other things like you know, Valley Ranet um, and uh, Ceridon Yearling if you're just looking to play Beasts. And if you want stuff with with removal stapled onto it then things like Indrix Stomp Howl Howler as well. If we're playing a lot of creatures an obvious thing to play which is a Beast is um what was it i've just called it cater <laughs> catering behemoth i meant crater And there's other things which are tricky to counter. So, what was it Terra Terra Stomper? I take for six, and it can't be countered, and it has trample. <laughs> And 
and you could stick in Alamon. That helps with cre you know things that help with creatures. Um, you're playing multicolors. They're not beasts, but there's a number of like support cards which pump you based on the amount of a certain color you're playing. So you can play, you know, if there's a cycle of those sort of cards, you know, lords for a particular color of mana, I suppose, you could you could put those in, put the whole cycle in. And there's there's some creatures that have you know fight um, abilities stapled to them when they come into the to uh, some beasts that when they come into play. Um, why not put in Carrick's Harbinger? Let's do that instead. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put in this because I can. Um, and then we'll take something out. Shall I remove? Yeah, I thought this stuff really does synergize very well. Thematically, that's good. I don't really have any flyers either, apart from that one. I no, don't have many, if any. Maybe that might be a sign. Let's take that out. That's fine. We'll go with that. So that's my my Morophon deck. Um, things that went a bit wonky there for some reason. I wasn't getting any good beast suggestions um, in either of the two suggestion algorithms. It's possibly because I, yeah, maybe it was just getting confused with this. So, of course, when it looks up the algorithm, there's a whole load of thinking about. It, there's a whole load of different tribal decks that Morophon builds around and that's not necessarily you know beast isn't right up the list so that could be what the problem is so I just ended up stuff I sort of could remember okay so I'm gonna I don't know if I, I did export this already probably not so that's gonna be exported down and then we'll do a quick um we'll do a quick play test the mana base is all over the place at the moment um, I'd probably want to rebalance this. You can see primarily we're in green. So um, we definitely want to remove some stuff from here to to shore up our... Um, so let's do that now. So if I do one, two, three, four... 
and then take these all down by one. That should. It's not going to be perfect, but that should help. I could go further there, it's not. I don't know if I'd want to drop that down though, but yeah. So let us, oh actually I will re-export that because I did change that. And I will play test. Oh my word, okay. Well, we're, we're good for land. <laughs> um, yeah. We've got Supreme Verdict, which we can't cast. Grave Shifter, we can't cast. Oh, there's our swamp. When do we get more of our now? Turn 7. Okay, good to know. I suppose we only have to really worry about turn 7. Carbonier, that's what, turn 3. Mm. That's cool, get that out early. But we only have red at the moment. Yeah, I think I definitely need to do something with my mana base. That's it's gonna be oh that's better. Got a commander sphere. And a cool diamond's reach, but no green. Hmm. Oh, there you go, that's better. That's an adaptive automaton, so if we boost, distant melody, Garrick's Harbinger. Red and black. Actually, I bet I don't have a one thing I forgot. Um, I didn't have a, the, the usual soul ring, actually, which is interesting. But anyway, I do like this in a tribal deck. definitely think looking at this and I don't really need to do it now but I would definitely probably want to swap out take out one each of the basic lands and maybe change it out with a, a tricolor one of each of the tricolors from appropriate set and then that would just um, maybe fix my manner a little bit better The alternative is to pull a lot of the artifacts and just play um, mana rocks as well and cut down a little bit on the number of creatures. You could do that. That would work. I always have trouble remembering the um, the sets for for Trilands. There is that set of cycling Trilands as well, which was, um, and I can't remember which set they're in. It was a recent set, and actually that probably 
thematically would make the most sense, seeing as this was a cycling um, cycling set as well. The Icoria. As I say, I'm thinking of. There's been several sets now which have have dry lands in them. Um, so the shards block would have had in mana fixing for three colours and um, was it Khan's, Khan's block was another one and um, I, know, I think it's Ikoria I can never I can never say it correctly I've got a reference here but yeah so that that's another possibility is to play like there's a cycle of dry lands from uh, the various sets where there's been three colours been a thing either wedge three colour or shard three colour in there so yeah I'm going to call it a halt there it's another episode of Commander Fodder in, in the can um, thanks for watching once again bye for now